Hello. We are playing as the British Commander on El Alamein. This is my first game playing as a British Commander, and this is one of my best games playing as Commander as well, because I'm able to do moves that I usually cannot get away with because of the way this map is set up. So basically this map is, feels like it's a bigger map. It takes much longer to get from point A to point B, it seems, and you also have like lots of these rock formations that are in the way. So you, you're not able to just drive from like point A to point B so easily. You have to like drive around all these rock formations, and it's also kind of hard to tell where they are on the map. The other trucks are not able to drive straight to your airhead and take it out, so you have more opportunities with airheads on this map. The one downside of playing as the British Commander, though, is that you have to use the Lee infield if you want to use a rifle. The rifle is not that great. It shoots fine, but it is slow. This weapon takes some getting used to. You have to change how you play to use it properly. You have to hold fire until you are 99% sure you're going to hit the target. So if I'm ever in a tight close quarter engagement, I have to be sure that the first shot I make, I hit, because if I don't, I will get mowed down by full auto or semi-automatic weapons. I have no problems with long distance shooting with the weapon whatsoever. I know many of you have heard about people complaining of the British weapons, but I tend to do well with them anyway by playing a bit differently as you'll see in this video right now and later on. All right, that's all I got and I hope you enjoy the video. Your MVP. You drove everybody there and you made a Geary. Who does that? Alrighty. Well, they are in the valley. We got an enemy boomer right here on my light. Recon, watch out. You got another recon tank up there. Go track him. Yeah, I got him right here. I'm moving my mark. He's uh, heading south. Uh, you guys are super far away from the action unless you're recon. You only get over here to Valley. Yeah, we took the boomer out. Yeah, you got that Panzer IV, he's sitting on top. Looks taken down. Cindy and recon plane. Took so long to cap that. Okay, dog, make a Gary, Lil Mayo, make a Garrison. You got three enemy soldiers coming up from Bravo. We're working on them right now, but they're. I'm gonna take a wild guess and guess that they have nobody on defense. So let's see if that is true. Bravo tank. Uh, if you're dead, get on the airhead. Yep, everybody on airhead. If you die, get on the airhead. Redeploy, airhead if you want. Um, airhead, airhead, airhead. There's enemy tank fire from 260 West. Anyone got eyes on it? I feel like this map is a lot bigger than usual too, so it's a lot harder to respond to airheads like that. It's not like they can just uh, drive a truck over the there. Jeep, there's a truck coming right toward you. Yeah, that's me. All right, well. See it out there? Yeah, I see him. Make a uh, gear so with the supplies I'm dropping on that point, guys. 
Uh, that Gary is still 100% if you have something for that. They're fucking coming off of it, but they're a ways away. Like, they're just now coming off the hill. Toads, you got two guys in front of you. I marked them with the infantry bank. Three guys now. Hey guys at Valley, redeploy and get on uh, the next point. Guys at Valley, redeploy and go to artillery gun. He's right where my infantry marker is, Toads. He's peeking the corner, hold on. He's peeking the corner. This is kind of like cheating, but I'll take it. Check the map, guys. Panzer four is nearby. Puma is stationary up on light mark. Losing point, defend. Yeah, they got, they got three. That Luke's is gone. You're chasing guys, the west, and Charlie or how? You'll have supplies. Make a Geary. So, guys, we just took this map that should have been a meat grind and just come flip, completely flipped it. Yeah, this that is Panzer insane. 4 is stationary on Bravo. Like, we're not fighting over who gets valley, we're fighting over who gets artillery guns. Q, you got two tanks out there, I don't know if you can see them or not, uh, there's a boom on. Copy. Sending recon plane. Yeah, it's because they can't spawn at the mid HQ. But ironically, I think the top HQ is close to artillery guns. Their head's down. Tank over here. Yeah, Sunny Day T spawned at that Gary. It's right by this guy. There's a enemy light tank north of us, north of artillery guns. You got eyes on that Luke's anybody? Uh, yep. George Mark is accurate. Yeah. There's two of them out there. There's one on Bravo Light and one on Bravo Tank. You got him. If you go over the hill, he's he's not even looking at you. Yeah, I'm just trying to depress him. God damn it. Nah, Roger. Why was he even looking over here? You're in no danger. Turn left, they're on your left now. Yeah, hey guys, I need notes. Directly north of you. Well, 
Uh, bearing 216 from your position. The P4 still sitting there, we're trying to get around the mid HQ and get behind. Uh, the P4 moves slightly, but he is on Bravo Mark. Sniper Q, you still have infantry over there, and the Panzer is still on Bravo Mark. Oh my god. Yeah, going to engage that. Did they change the update? I thought we only had three sets of nodes. We can only have three sets of nodes. So we're full. Cool. On Bravo Mark? Uh, yeah, proxy. Yeah, he's yeah. directly on Bravo Mark. We're gonna risk it, but they might be chasing us. Okay, spawn on the Gearson I just made if you're spawning. Directly behind you, on the road. Oh god. Um, defense is looking a little rough at the moment. It is really rough. There's a big attack from the south side. All right, guys that are attacking, y'all need to aggressively get in that circle because we're gonna lose this point. Um, uh, if we're you're losing it, you need to come back now. Guys, if you're dead, spawn on defense. Cromwell, if you put your face toward like southwest and back. Okay, spawn on defense if you die, guys. Hey, hey, we found an enemy garrison behind us. Because, yeah, this, this garrison Good Western job, Valley Michael. is like on a perfect hill and it overlooks like. We got an enemy Luke's on light mark back there driving down. Sending bombing run. Hey, uh, command, enemy transport truck going right to our Gary. Enemy transport truck going right to our Gary. He's out of bounds and he's stuck. So he's gonna die. Enemy light tank, B7, my mark. Keep your gun up. They're gonna be right by it. I got them both, but make the Gary. Anyway, enemy garrison, my mark is south side of the map. And I can't get to it because Alux is guarding it. That's why I want him to die. Near item marker. Hey, they're on top of the hill, but. Alright, we'll go check it out. Um, how to make a garrison there after that gets capped. And fantastic job. All of a sudden, too. More than red light tank. This whole area where I'm marking, that's where they're setting up to attack you from right now, so. Some of you guys go down there and take care of them before they take care of you. Speaking of Panther. Was the smoke helpful? The arty smoke? Oh yeah, that was super yes. helpful. Okay. You got an enemy tank, B4. Of course, as soon as I fucking get here. Yeah, 
I marked the best mark I could get. I went super far away. I got the sniper OP on Ider Mark that was hanging out in your valley. Hey, airhead is 100% uh, good. E yep, uh, Fox, you can make a garrison there. Alright, go ahead and send HE and smoke. Mostly HE, right. okay? I need I need a couple of guys to volunteer to go on to strong point of defense. Uh, I have an easy item, dog. Yeah, but if they if they start capping, y'all need to get in that strong point like ASAP because it'll be a repeat of what happened last time. We attacked and they just kind of walked in there. Uh, enemy is sending a bombing run. Was a very ineffective bombing run. Uh, love, be careful the strafing run. Oh, 